inside the external parts and its, its function. So, I am Janelle Melachico from the Swine Group, and this is I'm Jiko Mundihar from the Swine Group. And Niku, Rumulta, hi, what's up, Nick? Hello! Hi. hi, good morning, my name is Rex Musalan. Hi, I'm Mark James Constantino, from owner of a small piggery. Congrats! So guys, uh, before we start, uh, this is the only short uh, presentation, so uh, please listen to our presentation right after this. and. We'll be we'll be giving you the topic and the parts of the swine and its function. So good luck, us guys. Good luck. Oh 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 oh. Come on, babe. Boy, enjoy the day. Bye, bye, bye. Hello, good afternoon. Uh, today we'll be learning about the anatomy of the swine. So this is swine. Well, what makes them up? We'll be taking a look at more vulnerable parts and what is most marketed and why. So we will be setting a basis for a little look into a selecting swine and other livestock. So the anatomy uh, refers to the external body parts of a swine. So knowing these parts is essential for being able to visually appraise a swine. So this will aid us in being able to identify structural cor correctness among other things. So what do the parts of the swine's body consist of? The parts that we'll be looking at include the following. We have the front one third. The, the front one third consists of the head the neck the snout so here is the snout and the jaw here so the, this will also include the shoulder the knee the pastern here is the pastern and the elbow pocket so the middle one third so this is the middle one third so this consists of the back or the loin, the length of the side, the underline or the belly, the fore flank and the rear flank. So the rear one third, so this is the rear one third, this is consists of the ramp, this is the ramp, the tail, so and the hump. So the ham, this will, uh, the ham is included between the ram and the rear, rear flow. And the hack, this is the hack, the jaw claw, the toe, and the staple region of the ham. This is the staple region of the ham. The front so, one third, so the importance of the front one third in the market industry lies within the following. So the shoulder or the bustin butt and the picnic shoulder. So this is the picnic shoulder. So there is also importance placed on minor cuts, which is the the jaw, the feet, and the neck bones. And also the and what is so vulnerable in front of one third? So the picnic shoulder. This is the picnic shoulder, the butt, and the the bustin butt comprises the most vulnerable part. So the, par the quarter itself is cut in half to create these cuts. So the Boston cut and the picnic shoulder cut. So the jaw and the front foot are sold as part of novelty items, such as pickled pig's foot. So this is the jaw and the last part or the neck behind the neck. So the middle one third, this is the middle one third. The market importance of the middle one third consists of the loin, the spay ribs, so this is the spay ribs here, and the, the spay rib is the most vulnerable part of the swine. Also the billy is here, used for bacon. This is the billy, 
So, where is the most expensive in the middle? One third. So, well, as with most animals, the loin is pretty valuable. So, mostly uh, on the market, so the loin is uh, the most expensive part of the pig. So, the 20 cuts from this area, including Canadian style bacon that is eaten on pizza on various chops that you may eat. So the top roast, the crown roast, and the back ribs, and the tenderloin comes from this area as well. The bacon that you eat for breakfast comes from the length of the side. This is the length of the sides, and as does the So the rear one third, this is the rear one third. The market importance in the rear one third lies within the following. The pork leg, this is the pork leg. So the pork leg is the most important because this is where the ham comes from. So this is where the area or the ham. This is the ham area. So the minor cuts in this area include the hind foot. This is the hind this is the hind foot cut between here and the the tail. The tail also sold. So the price is in the end. So the rear one third has one major very valuable cut. That is the Hams. This is the most valuable and the como, the most expensive part of the swine. So hams can come in many different forms, either smoked, canned, sliced, or boneless. They can be sold bone in, sold bone in, or bone out, and they can be also sold as a shank portion. So also there are a rare cutlets on top of the leg roast. The feet also can be sold as the pickled feet. So, after this uh, presentation, uh, our group members will presenting to you the external parts of the of the swine. So, guys, and also it's the external parts and the function of the swine. So, guys, listen carefully for you to understand or understand our presentation. So. Thank you and this will be the part of our presentation. Good afternoon. Uh, this is the ears. The ears are located just above the eye uh, and in front of the neck. And the pig's ears can vary in a shape and size. They are used predominantly for identification purposes through the use to their snack. Hello, good afternoon. Uh, this is the neck. The neck is located just behind the ears and front of the shoulder. The neck is the proper location give most of injection despite and this portion of the body usually discarded during uh, harvest. Yes, known, uh, this is a part of pig eyes are located on the face and below the ears. Uh, the pig usually says and sheets of the black and white. This is a uh, eyes of pig. Hello, good afternoon. Uh, this is a uh, underline. The underline is the collection of treats where the little pigs will nurse their mother under the quality of vary from the bread to bread and pig to pig underlines the should be evaluate the breeding stocks. The ideal underline is a free to an even spacing, non functional treats and has plenty treats to nurse. This is the underline. Good afternoon. This is the Billy. Billy are located just behind the shoulder and elbow pocket. The ribs need to the boldly sprung when you are judging pigs. The billy is the location where beacon comes from on the pig. Both the billy and ribs play an important role in guilt during pregnancy. A guilt must have ample capacity in order to carry large litter of pigs. Uh, hello, good afternoon. Uh, this is the jokla. The job, the job no, are the smaller appendages in the back of the pig legs, located above the hooves. The pig, the pig should not be walking down on the jaw claw. Certain breeds 
ineligible for registration of the classes extra joke law joke law hello good afternoon uh this is a faster pig uh are located just below the joke law and above the pegs hooves the pastern should be strong and the pig should be walk on its toes pig that have poor structure might walk down on their pastern which allow their duke log to touch the ground this is a pastern uh, <coughs> this is the snout the snout is also called nose the snout of the pig is located by the mouth the snout is the used by the pig to move turn and lift the object as well as to assist the eating and smelling the size and length of the snout varies from the bread to bread hello good afternoon and um, this is the hawk uh, the hawk located on the rear legs and i i located just below the stifle muscle a proper angle is needed from stifle muscle to the hawk and then to the ground in order for the fig to have structural correctness Slated flooring or cement can cause the hawk and the pig to swell. This is the hawk. Morning, this hawk. is the rear plank is located past the ribs and in front of the stifle muscle. When evaluating a, a pig for balance, the rib and uh, rear plank should be level with each other. Pigs that um, possess uh, swallow plank usually exhibit less capacity and are less desirable as replacement. Angels. Uh, hello, good morning. Uh, this is a four flank. This is located the front portion of the ribs. This portion of the chest cavity should be one of the widest part of the pig's chest. The pig, the pig's uh, heart and lung are located under the four rib. This is a forehead. Hello, good morning. Uh, this is the shoulder. The shoulder is located behind the neck and the front of the ribs. The angle of the shoulder helps determine the structural correctness of soundness and pork shoulder. It's the location of the Boston butt and the picnic of wholesale cuts <coughs> of the meat. Good morning. Shoulder. This is the knee. Knee is located just above the jaw clothes and just below the elbow pocket a pig needs to have a ample flexibility to their knee in order to maintain structural soundness hello good morning this is the chin bone the chin bone is the bone located between the shoulder blades of the pig this bone is an extension of the neck bone in order to stay a pair of pigs the chin bone stand up above the shoulder blades the chin bone is a good indicator of the age of the pig uh, hello good morning this is a uh, elbow pocket elbow pocket is uh, located above the forearm and behind the shoulder it is elbow of a front leg and serve as a dip depot for fat storage over condition or fatter pigs will have a more defined elbow pocket uh, this is ham the ham is the cut of meat located to the below the tail and above the hocks the overall size of the ham can be evaluated during judging and various breeds a bigger polar usually means that will track wider when viewing from the behind of the tail can vary from the bread to bread to pig to pig from tail docking and use confinement operation to the reduce the tail biting Oh, 
Hello, good morning. I get the nipple lips, I'm young, 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 I'm